What's going on people in YouTube land? Kim Chi Chris here and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's brand new video. And for today's video, we are going to talk about some things that I think won't happen on the Kiss End of the Road Tour that as of the release of this video is kicking off in just a few days. Now there's a lot of mystery in the air, there's a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors, and there's a lot of things that I think will happen, but most importantly there are some crazy rumors out there that are still floating around and still aren't going to happen, so let's just try to dispel a few of those right now. But of course do keep in mind this is all speculation, I could be horribly wrong on all of these things, and these are my predictions for the 2019 End of the Road Tour. Now, now, if they add another leg in 2020 or 21 or 22 or 2028, like they have talked about doing, a lot of these things could change because they might need to give you a little more bang for your buck if you're going to see them a second, third, fourth, fifth, six thousandth time on this tour. Before this initial tour in 2019, here are five, count them, five things that I think you will not see on the end of the road tour. And at number one, we have a big name or even moderate name opening act. There have been so many rumors that we'll be getting a big opening act for this tour. Of course, Ace was one of the big rumors. I also heard Alice Cooper. I heard Cheap Trick. I heard Greta Van Fleet. I heard Ghost. I heard Joan Jett. So many bands ranging from classic acts from their time up to more modern ones. But guess what, guys? It's not happening. There's even still some people speculating that at this opening night there's going to be this big surprise, but guess what? A lot of KISS fans wouldn't even care unless it was a band from their era and, you know, I just don't see it happening. Because one of the biggest reasons you'll have a bigger name opening act is of course to sell tickets and draw people in, and that completely defeats the purpose of having a surprise opening act. I mean, these shows have been selling pretty well, all things considered, despite some people saying they haven't, so I really don't see that happening. Now, who knows, if they do move this tour into 2020, as they've talked about, maybe we'll see something then to give people a little more, you know, uh, allure, so to speak, to bring them to the shows, but for this 2019 version, we're not going to see any big name opening acts. The only way you're going to see Kiss playing with some really big names will be at some of these festival dates they have in other countries. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they had some local support or even maybe some one-offs, but for one big name throughout the tour, eh, not happening. And up at number two of things you will not see on the end of the road tour, obscure songs. That's right, you will not see Kiss performing obscure songs on this, unfortunately, as much as people like myself would love it. You're not going to see King of the Mountain, Fits Like a Glove, Is That You? I'd be surprised if you saw Lover All I Can. You are going to see the hits, Rock and Roll Night, Detroit Rock City, I Was Made For Loving You, Deuce. That's the kind of stuff they're going to play. They might scratch the surface a little bit deeper. You might get something like Tears Are Falling or Got To Choose, but I don't see them going really deep with this. And Paul has even said himself in the media they will be doing a hits tour on this one. He said the obscure songs are obscure for a reason and all that nonsense, but it would be great to see them do these, but it's, it's not happening. You know, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll play a weird thing here or there, but I'd be very, very surprised if we get a lot of obscure songs or really even anything that's like super hardcore obscure. And in at number three of things you will not see on the end of the road tour, subtlety. That's right. Subtlety's been thrown out the door as far as the whole career has went for Kiss, but this tour, it's up like a thousand pegs, you know, it's, it's blowing through the roof. It's just, it's just gone. They are charging more for tickets than ever. They are charging more for meet and greets than ever. They have more options for meet and greets. They're selling the guitars they're playing on stage, the drums they're playing on stage, the basses they're playing on stage, the sword, the gene, breathes the fire off of on stage, the microphones on stage, the guitar straps. They're selling everything that you will buy. And honestly, why stop there? They could sell the toilet paper dispenser that the guys used backstage. They could sell a fork that Paul ate his salad with. They could sell all kinds of stuff for your ultimate VIP experience. But in all seriousness, the merch sales are going to be insane on this. The VIP experiences are going to be insane. These guys don't care. They're there to make a lot of money and have one big huge party before it all blows up and honestly I couldn't be more excited for it. And in at number four of things you will not see on the end of the road tour, it is the Gene Simmons vault experience happening at the end of the road. Now this was initially announced to happen on his days off between tour dates and then it was axed and then it was announced that it was going to happen after the show and you'd be able to get your picture with Gene in full makeup right after he walks off stage and then that was axed with actually no real reason or anything. A lot of people got refunds and the stuff was removed from the website and while it hasn't really been explained why this isn't happening my opinion would be that Gene just realized it was going to be a little bit too much and a little bit too much work for the money he was going to make. These things were going to be limited to 10 people after the shows and while that's a lot of money selling them at $2,000 a pop 
it just probably didn't make as much sense financially as selling a few more bases for what is it six thousand seven thousand eight thousand fifty thousand dollars whatever he's selling them for the vault wasn't as big of a priority it seems and now they're just going to be selling the leftovers for the time being at least for fifteen hundred a pop on GeneSimmonsVault.com. and at number five this is not meant at a stab of the guy but this is totally something you won't see on the tour you will not see Vinny Vincent at these shows now the idea of bringing special guests on stage for just a couple songs or even just to say hi to the crowd or to kiss a baby or to do whatever has been talked about and I wouldn't be surprised to see Ace pop up, Bruce even, and you know maybe even Peter, but you're not gonna see Vinnie Vincent on stage. It's not gonna happen. These guys would like to erase him completely from the history if they could, and honestly, I don't think they'd play any of his songs if Lick It Up wasn't such a big hit and I Love It Loud wasn't such a big hit. These guys really don't want you to remember Vinnie Vincent. I mean, this reaches so far, they don't even like talking about him in interviews, at least Paul does it. Now, Gene did bring him to his vault experience last year, but it seems like after that, the ties have been completely severed again. You know, he's been making jokes about him at some of the other vault experiences and all kinds of stuff, so I really, really, would be surprised if you ever saw Vinny on stage. Plus, let's just be real. We're all kiss nerds. We know who Vinny Vincent is, but you brought him out to an arena of casuals. A lot of them aren't even going to know who he is, so it just would be a little bit awkward. Now, mind you, that's kind of been the name of the game with Vinny in recent years. Awkward. There's been a lot of awkward, weird experiences, but nonetheless, I just don't see this happening at the end of the day. So there you have it. Five things you will not see on the end of the road. According to my opinions, I guess we'll all see soon. So what do you think? Do you think I'm full of it? Do you think you're going to see the Rolling Stones magically open the first show? Do you think Gene's going to just start throwing the vaults from on stage? You know, who cares if it hurts someone? It's a $2,000 product for free. What do you guys think will happen on this tour? But regardless of what you think and regardless of what I think this tour is starting in just a few days and uh, depending when you're watching this it's already happened and a lot of these questions will be solved and I'm sure I'll talk about a lot of it on this channel so if you enjoyed this video at all hit that subscribe down there hit the alarm so you get the updates leave me some comments tell me what you think you may or may not see on this tour tell me about the dates you're going to I'd be very excited to learn all of that once again my name is Kim Chi Chris and I will see you guys on the next video